I just purchased a weather station and I decided to make this video to show you how it works. Uh, what you get in the box is this large LCD receiver that uh, has all the information displayed from uh, all the sensors. And there is also a smaller receiver that has only few of the informations from the, from the sensors. This is the wind speed and wind direction sensor. Um, feels very solid, looks quite good. And it's connected to the transmitter using a kind of telephone cable and connector. There is a lot of cable for both the wind speed and the rainfall sensors. The rainfall sensor it's uh, quite light. You'll see there is not too much inside. It's very uh, simple made but uh, it's also very precise and probably very reliable. So there's no problem. And this is the transmitter. You connect both the rainfall and the wind speed and direction sensor using the um, telephone cable and connectors. It uses two double eight batteries and they should last for quite a long time. And inside there is also a temperature sensor, a pressure sensor and a humidity sensor. So all these are also transmitted to the main receiver. There is also some additional hardware inside the box to mount the sensors. And this is the manual cover. You see here how they connect and what it's included. The large uh, receiver has three AA batteries and as you can see it has a large display, display with all the information. This is a kind of $2 compressor from uh, Dollarama. I will use it to show you uh, the wind speed and how we indicate the wind speed. Like you see here it's 2.5 mile per hour it will go up, I think up to 6 miles per hour. But he makes an average, so probably for a short period the speed was higher, but the average didn't exceed 6 miles per hour. I will now disassemble the wind speed and direction sensor. There are three screws keeping all this together. Nothing happened, it's just a piece of plastic that fell off the sensor. It's this one. As you can see there are four light detectors, so you probably already realize how this works, but um, I will explain Im immediately. As you can see there is uh, probably an infrared emitter and there are four uh, detectors. This one is a read switch and uh, there are just two contacts close together inside a glass uh, tube that has some kind of inert gas 
and when this uh, magnet inside the rotor will uh, be on the same uh, position as the sensor the two uh, contacts will close and will generate a pulse and this pulse uh, will be registered and the number of pulses in a certain amount of time will uh, give you the wind speed. And this um, wind direction, it's a bit more complex. Um, there is a black disc that has four rows of slits and depending on the position of the disc you get uh, 16 combination using these four uh, detectors and this uh, 16 uh, combination will give you the wind direction. Now this is the rainfall sensor and you see it's about 10 cm by 3 cm this is about 30 uh, square centimeters this is the area that collects the the rain water and as you can see it's just a funnel so and this is a kind of i don't know how to call this a carousel or something like that and it's like a balance so when it's full of water it will go on one side or on, or on the other side and there is also a small magnet and as you already guessed uh, there is another reed switch inside this one and the reed switch uh, will close each time the magnet will uh, go in front of the reed switch This is a close-up of the reed switch, so maybe you can better see how it looks. Like I said, it's just a, um, a glass tube that it's um, filled with an inert gas, so you don't get any interaction. And as you can see, and maybe even here, I move a magnet and these contacts will close. I hope you can see. Okay now let's make a test. We have um, 10 milliliters of water and you see I didn't reset the, the rainfall. It's 72 millimeter now. Is, as you can see when the, the bucket is full of water or has enough uh, weight it, it will shift to the other one it's quite quite simple and, and clever design so uh, as you can see now it's 75 milliliters uh, millimeters of rain so uh, 3 millimeter on that uh, 30 square centimeter area it's uh, exactly 10 milliliters of water and now I will do a test with 100 milliliters of water so it's uh, 10 times more as you see I already uh, reset it, the, the rainfall so it's now it's zero and you'll see that the resolution it's a uh, 0.5 milli millimeters of rain you can get this unit also in inch but um, i prefer millimeters since i'm used with metric system
as you will expect you'll get about 30 mm of rainfall since um, the area that collects the water it's uh, 30 uh, square centimeters and I had 100 milliliter of water This is all about this weather station. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching my video.